third night of Kwanzaa and a local store is lighting a candle for each day. The Sirius Sage in downtown Augusta marked the third principle today, which is Ujima, which also stands for collective work and responsibility. Our Taylor Martin spoke with the director of the store to learn more about what this holiday means to them. For those that celebrate Kwanzaa, the holidays don't stop after Christmas. Each night between Christmas and the new year, a candle is lit, representing seven principles of the holiday. Three candles lit on the Kanara for the first three days of Kwanzaa. It's about culture. It's about embracing your ancestors. It's about embracing your people. Um, it's about embracing individualism. Representing unity, self-determination, and today, on day three, collective work and responsibility. Today is Ujima. So that means collective responsibility um, and pulling other people's problems into your heart, right, um, as an individual, but solving them together. The Kanara holds seven different candles in three different colors for each day of Kwanzaa, all representing something different. So you have your red for the blood, you have your green for the growth and the future. Uh, this also represents the struggle, and then your black representing the strength and the unity. Along with the seven principles of Kwanzaa, there are seven symbols, with the Kanara and the candles being just two. So you have your water here inside of your cups, right? Now, these are going to be for the thirst of our ancestors. And each year, families gather to celebrate these principles just before the new year. Kwanzaa to me is the way I live my life, uh, love, acceptance, um, acknowledgement. Now, if you missed tonight's lighting of the Kanara, you can stop by Siri Sage on Broad Street downtown at 6 o'clock each night of Kwanzaa. Um, that ends on January 1st. And I'm sure they would love to see a crowd there. Great explanation, and we I think we all learned a little bit something. Thanks, Taylor.